it will never cease to amaze me how racist Westerners will ignore history, ignore context, all so they can keep this straw man narrative and propaganda going in their head. And the best example, as always, is Reddit, the white supremacist site. Because they ended up using this article to reinforce that straw man racist narrative that they had and enforce this propaganda that China is bad and anyone who is associated with China is evil. And they don't even know the most recent history of what happened in Yemen and the Houthis. So yes, and I've touched on this in a few videos in the past and if I remember, I'll link them in my comments. I mean, Yemen had a civil war in the last 10 years and America was involved in it. This was published in 2017 where the Saudis with the support of President Carrot doing I can't say that on TikTok anymore. In Yemen, where the Saudi-led coalition waging a war in Yemen with United States full support has been carrying out a bombing campaign that made it virtually impossible for most of the country to feed itself. The result is that Yemeni children starving once every 10 minutes where the Saudis have begun a blockade and bombing ports of our already malnourished country that must import 90% of its food. This was published in 2016, and the United States said it will review its support after the latest attack because of an airstrike that killed 140 people at a funeral. This was published in 2019 about the UK, US, and France being complicit. And how about this article in 2020 about the U.S. war crime risk for helping out the Saudis in Yemen, where the arms sales policies could lead to charges of war crimes against American officials, where other things happened that I cannot repeat on this app where they were connected to Blackwater's founder. Do you need more proof? This was published in 2021. A Saudi-led coalition intervened militarily in 2015 with political backing and logistics and intelligence support from the U.S. and U.K., but it has become one of the world's worst humanitarian catastrophes. In 2016, when a State Department lawyer determined that American officials could plausibly be charged with war crimes, the department's top lawyers decided not to send the analysis to the Secretary of State's office, though it was shared with some agency officials. And yes, Yemen tried to appeal to the ICC, or the Hague. And if that wasn't enough for you, here's a Human Rights Watch report. So since 2015, the United States has been helping Saudi Arabia bomb and destroy Yemen and its people, along with Saudi Arabia funding the militants in Yemen to keep the civil war going so they can have a proxy war with Iran until China stepped in. Where China helped broker a deal between Iran and Saudi Arabia which would help end the civil war going on in Yemen. So it should be no surprise that Chinese ships are allowed safe passage since it was China who helped broker a deal to end Yemen's civil war and, well, the Houthis were attacked by Saudi Arabia. But this goes against that racist narrative and propaganda of the West that China's bad because it ended a conflict. 